Huh. It's a unique hustle, nigga. Big shit, big shit, big shit, big shit. Huh. Name another podcast like this. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely official, Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Nothing, nothing, my dad walk Say, on. Say, man, look, man, I, man, we got exclusive right here, man. Mm -hmm. These niggas in trouble, man. Hey, man, I done pulled up on the block, man, and nigga really feeling himself right now. I got quick trip in there, man. What's going Say, on? Say, man, what's going on with you, man? Life, life, man. Say, man, you, hey, man, you got a catalog, brother, man. You've been, you've been working a long time. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so what, what drives Quick Trip, man? What life. keeps him going? Life, like the music, come from my real life story. Okay, so this ain't no, this, this, hey, yeah, this, this, this. I ain't here. rapping my brother' life, my uncle' life, my nephew' life, my cousin' life. Yeah, yeah. That's what I go through. Immediate family, because mm. it affects you. It affects your heart. Yeah. So you can put all that passion behind your music. Yeah. yeah. You gotta be able to, you gotta be able to speak it when you ain't got nobody there. You could you can basically tell who really did it. Have you it. always been like that when you were younger, just starting out? Was that what you always would rap about? Or over the years as you get older, your style changes? No, it's what I go through. Yeah. Whatever I go through, I put it in my music. I don't yeah. hide nothing from my fan. If I was broke today and I made a song, I'm worried about me being broke today. If I had a lot of money tomorrow, I'm going to worry about me getting a lot of money tomorrow. But I'm going to tell you about yesterday, too, what it did. See, a lot of people don't do that. I ain't going to hide nothing. If you my fan, you my family. Okay. Man. How old were you when you first started? I used to freestyle a long time ago. Like, when I was eight, nine, we used to freestyle. Me and Freshton, we used to walk around with pieces of paper, right now, little hooks. But then I started taking it serious when I started uh, going... Going with Fresh and Gucci on the road, then I went to um I went to Houston 2012 with, with Future and shit. Um, I seen some different things. I'm like, I got a story. I'm going back home and from from 2012, all star in Houston. Like February the 19th, we flew back home. I made my first song February the 20th, my own song. Yeah. Like from, I came home that I came home that Sunday and I made my first song that Monday. Wow, my own song. Like from before that, that, you had been with Fresh Bankroll and all of them, huh? Fresh, my brother. So okay, we, that's life. That's a life. <laughs> that's life. It's just like I didn't never take it serious. Okay, I was always in the street. I never took it serious because I was like, all right. But then I went to Houston with Future and seen them chicks getting picked up on back ends. I was like, I need in. So the money changed everything. It made me take it serious. Mm. It and like, even then, people would always tell you you were good, but you just didn't care? Nah, they, they don't give me my credit like I supposed to get. Oh, so nobody really told you that? The fans. The if you're out of town, it never be the in towners. Wow. Mm. That's why I gravitate to the out, out of town, the in town. I think that is everywhere and everybody because we always talk about it because even like being a performer is like you book more shows out of town than you do and it's not just you it's everybody it just happens yeah, that way. it's a lot of bodies i can promise you that you know but jesus says the prophet does not honor in his own country so i think a lot of time when you in your own city on, on time sometimes they, they show you a little love but yeah but they just gonna look at you for what they knew you for before mm -hmm. that's it mm -hmm. that part they're not gonna look at where you're trying to go until you go then they, they criticize you for going where you're trying to go and mad because you don't come back for free. Mm -hmm. You are absolutely 100% correct. What part of uh, Atlanta are you from? I'm from, I'm from Pittsburgh, Zone okay. 3. Zone Four 3. Forward to County, the heart of the city. So what they do on the outskirts, we moving 10 times faster in the city, so I got to keep up the pace with them. Whoa. I can't do what you're doing in your size counties. I, got, I move in the city to right Fulton County, like mm -hmm. ten times fast. Everybody trying to hustle. Everybody trying mm -hmm. to get some money. Everybody trying to scam. Everybody doing what they doing. So you got to be on. You got to be on point with all that. Yeah. When when you when you you got songs like I ain't gonna lie. You got you got some work out there, man. You, uh, you and Bankroll. You and you and Bankroll. Y'all got y'all got music together. A lot so, of music. So so like 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 you you why do you. And you know, you've seen it when somebody passed, a lot of times people show more love than when they were here. Yeah. You know, um, we had Mo3 that passed in, 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 in the D like that. And everybody, you know, and I, if people come on my platform and I tell them, I say, man, why you didn't give them the roses when they were here? A lot of times people, they wait to see, like you said earlier, you know, yeah. they know already you, they, they, they know what it is. 
that's like show your first show and then post your funeral. I bet your funeral gonna be packed in your first show. Wow, that's real. Mm -hmm. Because it just it's, it's just the way people move for some reason, man. You, what what you, what is that? That's just life. Like that's what they rather see. They rather see that. They rather see you lose and win anyway. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of naysayers. The people that can't do things, they're going to always place their problems on you. Like, oh, he can't do it. He can't do it. But then when you do it, it's like, oh, you sold out. You did that. I'm trying to keep it real. It stink. Like, what I go through is what you're going to hear. Like, a lie, you got to keep that same lie for 30 years. But the truth, you can be, everybody can tell the truth. If you if you tell the truth, like if I tell you a story and I say such and such said, and if you get them on the podcast, they're gonna be able to say it the same way I said it, because I'm gonna give it to you raw, like that way. I ain't gonna try to throw a two on a ten. I ain't gonna do that. I'm gonna tell you the truth, and, and that's how I win. Like I can go back and say whatever I tell you today. I, we can come back ten years and I can say the same thing ten mm -hmm. years from now because it's the truth. How does all of those negative Nancys affect your career? Affect your? Um, it don't. It don't. It don't. Because some people let it get to them. Especially yeah. where we have social media yeah. today, where a lot of cyberbullying, people saying things that hurt, you know what I mean? They're going to say that. Get with, they got to go home and deal with that. Yeah. <laughs> they got to go home and look, look at them fucked up apartment walls they live in. <laughs> you <laughs> they, say it. They got to go deal <laughs> with that. Life. He, he say life a lot. You know, like I things happen that. Things happen to you. You've been through a lot of street stuff, so. Because I say life because it's, it's just how it go like. Say for instance. We doing something and it take a toll, but we done seen our peers take that same toll. So you know, I look at the dictionary of life, I'm like it can happen. I learned from other people's mistake. If I seen you burn your hand touching that computer, I ain't got to touch that computer to know it's hot. Some I people seen do. you did it, but you got people that are still gonna mm -hmm. say, how hot is it? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How high, I don't wanna do that. <laughs> wow. You sound like me, I learned from other people's experiences. Yeah. I ain't, I, I ain't got no feelings. I ain't, and I'm in the street for real. I ain't got none. Man. Yeah. So I'm going to pin your case on me. <laughs> <laughs> no. So what was the, the, the first thing that, that, that stuck out to you for is the, the first son that you really knew, like, I'm, I'm, I'm doing my thing. The numbers went up. Or, nah. or just the impact was. I'm going to tell you. The impact was right. I got a song, right? Mm hmm It's called We Ball, Man Fresh. Okay. We took it in the club, I want to say, for like three weeks. Did one song, got us a mean what? Every label. But they all said the same thing, so I never put the song back out until like I get big. The verse is so up the part that I, fresh music, like it don't age. Yeah, but it goes I was down. beginning, so I changed my verse on it right now and put it out and it'll be big. But they was at, they, this is what they told us. They told us, do you want to put this song out now? Cause you're gonna have to chase a hit behind that song. Mm -hmm. This gonna be so big, we can sign y'all for this song and take it worldwide. But what you gonna do if you can't top this song again? Mm -hmm. So my mentality was like, I ain't trying to jump the hurdle when I'm just starting. Like, you know, you can jump right in, but you don't last right long. Mm -hmm. I wanna take my accolades and my $500 shows. I done did though, the going to the club for liquor, bottles, and I don't even drink. So I tell promoters, what you gonna spend on that bottle you paid $40 for that bottle outside the club. You want to give me two bottles and tell me this is $1,000 when you paid $40 for that bottle. Mm -hmm. Like, come on, keep it player. Give me $1,000 to come to your club. And I'm, and I, and I'm so player, I'm going to spend 1000 back in your club. Mm -hmm. I don't drink, but I'm going to bring a couple of people with me, a couple of females or something that got to drink or want to drink. I'm going to buy it, but I ain't going to come do a party in your club for bottles of liquor, and I don't drink. Really? I'm going to most likely have my cup with me. Mm -hmm. That costs more than your bottle. I'm going to have mine, but I got to entertain the people that are with me. So I come back and spend the money, but I don't move for liquor. You ain't going to wake me up for liquor. I can't pay my bond with liquor. Really? Mm -hmm. I can't put gas in my car with liquor. I can't go outside the club and sell the bottle money. So oh, what I'm saying? Really? Give me something that ain't going to make me come. Why you came to work today? Shoot. You came for the money. Yes, sir. Okay, so why you want me to come for free? Real talk. No, I get it. I get it, and I and I agree with it. You know what I'm saying. I mean, if I, you do something for me for free, I do something for you for free. That's the way. It that's goes. exactly. And we gonna be in them type of relationships. Mm -hmm. Like we gonna we gonna work our relationships. No money. I'm with that. Yeah. You know, usually the way it started is kind of how it rolls. 
You know that, right? Mm-hmm. Like a person, and, and, and the person character going to show his flaws right up front if you pay attention. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? So you can, if you, you know, that's why. If he, he ain't real, he can't be real. That's right. Real, recognized, real, it kicks in at, yeah. at some point. You they know? can only say real things. They can't do real things. Yeah, yeah. So when you. Um, so I, tell me I'm about the um, new project that you're go. working on right now. The one I'm working on now? I just recently lost my mama, but. Oh, I'm sorry. Man. I had been doing music. In, in transition of her getting clean back in 2018. So I was converting that music over to rapping about her being clean. And I found a couple songs that I was really rapping about, like her, that, and it was the way she passed, and it just scared me. So I was just like, I'm gonna name my next tape Mama's Boy, cause like, if anybody know me, like, my mama yeah, is my mama's heart. Boy. Mm-hmm. I don't care, like, growing up, if I got adopted, I probably go to school five days in the new school, but on the weekend, I'm telling whoever I'm adopted to, like, I'm going back to be with my mama. Mm-hmm. If she can't come, I'm gonna run away. I'm telling you, I'm gonna run away. How old was she? My mama? Mm-hmm. She'd have been 61 June 20th when she died, Jeez. February 17th. Young. She was 60. Wow. Yeah, I lost my mama like 40 something, so I get it. But and it, it, you can't go. never replace that, man. Yeah, mm-hmm. we, 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 but you know why I'm happy? Cause I'm 32 and I spent Every day of my life with my mom. Like, That's dope. You have those memories. From the day she was doing drugs to the day she got clean, like, I got all the memories. So I ain't afraid to, of life. Yeah, Do you yeah, have yeah. kids? I, yeah, you yeah, said I got you one had... with my son. I said, okay. 16. So he got the opportunity to also spend time with her as well. Yeah. And he just, my baby mama just lost her mom. Wow. Um, life. Oh, uh, like a week ago. Um, 721. My mama died 217. Her mama died 721. Mm. Wow. So it was like, he with me right now, so I just, I just got him with me as being a dad on. Um, he going to grieve. He grieved different. He's strong. I ain't going to lie. He, ain't, wow. he, ain't, he cried when his mama, mama passed because he lived with her basically a lot, but he, he stood strong for me, so I had to just tell my baby mama, like, let him stay with me. Like, I got to be there for him. Like, he need that. And I... I, I, I respect my son. He don't smoke, he don't drink, he don't do none of that. Like, he That's ain't good. no sneaky little 16 year old. Freaky, but he ain't sneaky. <laughs> <laughs> he freaky, but he ain't sneaky. <laughs> See, I always, believe, sneaky, right? I always believe that sons need to have their dads in their life to show them yeah, how to be I a got, man. I got to do it. I can't, you know, I'm going to say this. I can't say my dad wasn't around. See, I was just about to ask you about him. Anytime I did call my dad or his brother at, um, my dad, he'll send something through. If him mm-hmm. and my mama didn't get along, he ain't never just like, oh, he'll be like, I'm 15 minutes away. Stay by that pay phone right there. If my mama was right there and he was finna give me some money, he'll pull past <laughs> and give me a look, like meet me down the street. But then one day I just asked him when I got older, like, why y'all don't talk? And I made them talk for the first time. I put the picture on Instagram, like, I made them talk for the first time and like, 20 years and he wow. was like this is my first time talking to your mama but he was just telling me things that she wouldn't tell me being st- my mom was stubborn mm-hmm. <laughs> stubborn oh no nah, don't go her way fuck you let me ask you do this. you get that from her oh. go ahead me and my mama started talking for like three months she <laughs> tell. yeah yeah See, i know That's some of the traits gotta go tell. come down yeah. I'm, I'm your mama. You can't tell me what to do. Children's are made to be seen. I heard. They're her favorite line. <laughs> so, so let me ask you this. So when you, um, when going back to uh, Bankroll Fresh, when, when you and him were working together, because y'all was working together a lot, once he passed, how did that, how did that kind of deal, dealing with your career, how did that push things one way or the other? I want to stop. You, I figured that. I wanted to stop, but then, you know, like, like I say, Fresh, my brother, so therefore, his mom is my mama, my mama is his mama. So therefore, it's a real life thing, not just an industry thing. Mm-hmm. Like we've been together since we were like three, four. Yeah. So you gotta think this these real years of our life, like teen, kids, like real babies. So when I got the call, I was leaving Future Show. Okay. Purple Rain to in Atlanta at three, four. And then I was like, I got the call, he got grades. Yeah. So I walked back in the club. Then I got another call, but the person who called me, uh, when he called, it's like, he go to sleep at eight o'clock. If he called you at 11 o'clock, something wrong. Yeah, yeah, you knew that. If he called you at 11 o'clock, something wrong. But we was in Onyx with my, with my buddies, them getting drunk. 
like 11, because we was going to go to Privé. We had a session in Privé that night for future party, the after party. And I couldn't make it. And I was just like, damn. But then when I got there, it didn't hit me because, man, Fresh, we wasn't seeing eye to eye. That's why I made the song, Eye to Eye. Mm -hmm. Our pride got in the way. Yeah. He was around people I didn't want to deal with. I was around people that he felt like should be around him, but they, I was just telling him, like, we both working on two different things. Yeah. You working right here, you got two chain helping you, I got future helping me. We together still. Mm -hmm. I still, Street Money is your company. I don't have nothing in on it, but you my brother, I'm gonna rep it to the end. So when you see me in a future video and I got on the Street Money shirt, I'm branding us. Wow. When you see Lil Wayne in that Double XL magazine a long time ago, when I'm standing behind him, I got on the Street Money hoodie. I'm branding us. Look at it like that. Don't look at it as like we not together. We working on two different platforms, but we working for the same thing. Yeah. You doing you, I'm doing me. We doing us. Mm -hmm. so look at it that way. Don't look at it like we not equal. And you, yeah. got, to, and you got to share that with him. Yeah. We, we, Somewhat. We, we on that type of time, like his son, I catch graduations. I, I'm going to be honest, I don't miss like two birthdays of just me being me, stubborn. But his son, know I love him. And if he call me right now, I'm, I'll probably cut the broadcast out to go mm -hmm, mm -hmm. do what I got to do with him. If he needed Uncle Quick Trip when he, when he DM me or whatever, we do that. His son, old enough to understand. Me and his mama talk. Everything A1, it ain't no, it ain't no flaw in that. That's big bro. I don't have nothing negative to say about him. That's big bro. Whatever we went through, it was like brothers. Yeah. You know, your brother. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know, yeah. Your sister. Uh, yeah, well, a lot. It, a lot. Really, no, really yeah. don't talk like y'all. You know, it's something that happened in family. Like my brother and me, he texted me this morning, happy birthday. That's it. We ain't talked in six. Boy, hey, birthday. About three, yeah. yeah. About three months, maybe. Happy birthday. Yeah, thanks, man. Been three months, maybe four months. My sister, two years. Like, this is something that families go through. We don't talk about it, but it's certain times when you might be on this and they may not be on that. And you get older, you get grown. You know, you got kids of your own. You can outgrow people. Yeah, you can outgrow family. family. You <laughs> so, and it's and it's a hard thing to say because you grew up in the same house together. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, and like, you want to see everybody win. You want to see everybody on the same level. You don't want to leave nobody behind, especially your brothers and sisters. You know what I mean? Definitely. But if they ain't trying to work with you to go to the next level, then you gotta leave. That's behind. that part they right gonna there. Be trying to pull you back down. You gotta get to that next level of life. I don't care what you say. Listen, I look at it like Miss Pat Man. If you can have the same characters as every boy, mm -hmm. <laughs> why you can't take them all with you? You know some die, yeah. you beat the board, some come. Wow. New people gonna come in your life, like you could say day one, day one, day one, day one. And a day two can come in and change your whole life. Mm -hmm. They can see things different than your day one, cause your day one just see things the way they see it. Yeah, yeah. Outsiders gonna see it from their standpoint, your standpoint, and the next level. And, Sometimes you can block your blessings thinking day ones are the right one. Yeah. It's cool to go out, come in and go out the same way with the same people, but what if the whole people don't see themselves going to the next level with you? What you yeah. gonna do? Hold, that's like me taking a pack of dirty clothes on the tour. No, <laughs> no, 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 real talk. Where you did know. the name Quick Trick come from? <laughs> don't get me in <laughs> <laughs> I wanna know. Nah, guess what? This is this a true story. I got a friend here in jail named Sweet D, and I got another one just got named Natron. They used to call me QT with a QP, playing like off of weed. So, but I ain't sell weed back then. But then, as I got older, I used to always say QT. And folks be like, man, quick trip. So then my friend Samaya, she like a sister to me, and she was like, I made an Instagram. She like, Bump and just call you Quick Trip. And I'm like, <laughs> all right. So my first Instagram was Quick Trip 0829. I lost the password. Like my birthday at the end, it, I started Quick Trip myself. And I'd be outside, everybody would be saying Quick Trip, Quick Trip, Quick Trip. And I'm just like, like when I be feeling that like online for, for uh, hotels and I be doing my, shit, my traveling. I might be on there to ever put quick trip. Did he was like your name wrong? Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. I don't stuff. think it's my real name for real. I'm like man, God 
See, and I'm trying to get used to that because everybody's like, you know, they come to you and introduce themselves. And I'm still trying to say my real name because I'm used to that. But Instead you, of saying Miss Jamaica, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm practicing to say Miss Jamaica all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, kind of, it's yeah. something about the name, too. It's importance in that name, man. Mm -hmm. You know, so top three artists of all times, man, dead or alive. Any genre. My top three. Top mm -hmm. three. We Any do it genre. every every every, Male every or episode, female. right? Mm -hmm. Top three. Did a lot. Any genre, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Number one. Tupac. Okay. Wow. Number Mace. two. Mace. Number three. I gotta say, Young Jeezy. Wow. Uh, Tupac, Mace, Young Jeezy, man. That's good. My three influences. Okay. Like, okay. I like the Mace for his style. Okay. Yeah. I like the Tupac for his lyrics, mm -hmm. and I can relate to Jeezy. Wow, wow. I can relate. What but you, get? You, put me, you said my top three. That's yeah. the top three. It could change, you know. My that's top five, future. So, so being, in, being in the business for as long as you have, I know you've had a lot of ups and downs, and you overcame some a obstacles. Lot. What is the biggest obstacle that you had to overcome, and how did you overcome it? I didn't overcome it yet. Okay, what is your biggest obstacle? Losing my mom. Wow. I get it. I've been there. I ain't overcome it. It's still to like, you know, like, me and my mom, we had a friendship. So if I be with a girl, she don't like to say she old, so she be like, they're my little brother. And the girl would think I'd be playing like I tell her <laughs> to say that. And she'll be going along with it for so long and be like, nah, I'm here, mom. But you'll think I tell her mom, say you my, my sister. No, she just play like that. Like, wow. me, I play with her. I call my mama titties. So at the front room, when we was closing the casket, the man was like, you want to help me close the casket? I'm like, I want to do everything that need to be attended to her today. Yes, sir. She need to know from zero to 32, I did everything, everything. with you. That's it. I'm going to touch your... So we was closing the casket and he was screwing the thing. I ain't know that. I, at the front row, I never paid attention to how they let, they let you down. They, it, with the little thing. It's a lot go to everything so, you do. as we took her in, I touched her titty. This nigga said, hey, Reggie said, you a sick motherfucker. <laughs> I say, why? He said, you just touch your mama titty. I say, listen, I wouldn't be me if I didn't do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is the relationship y'all had. We play like that. Yes, sir. Me and her. Like, I can call my mama at four or five o'clock in the morning and, and play with her, and she'd be like, What you want to do, motherfucker? I'd be like, uh, What you doing, Titty? And she'll just, But you play too much. My mama will buy her money, though. Like, if Man. You know. Were you the baby? Hey, I would don't fall for the country. How many brothers and sisters? My dad got. Well, for your mom? Me and my sister. It wouldn't have been no me and my other brother would have survived. Mm. Yeah. She said she was through, she had a boy and a girl. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. How yeah. are your sister handling it? My sister, she ain't even taking it too well. Cause she, like her and my mama, they had the best relationship. You know, women's gonna- Women, yeah, once you get to that age, women gonna, gonna get bump that. Hit. Yeah, y'all gonna bump it. But you know, my sister, like, she a team player. My sister been in and out of jail. like. I ain't afraid of that. I don't hold it down every bitch she ever had, but you know, like she don't feel like they were just getting that connection of daughter and mama the real way, and mom passed. My mama got actually got clean today. My sister got jail last night, March the um fifth, two thousand eighteen. Mm -hmm. That was the day she got clean, so she was clean for three years. Wow. Mm. It's just it, it, the thing I look at with what just we talking those about. Memories. Yeah, like he's had a lot of different people that that you know. <sighs> Wallow, died. Money, yeah, bang. Like, all these people, man, that's effective, man. So, and I asked Mr. Lee this when I was in the, the one out of uh, from Rap Live. I was like, how do you deal with going in processing the music after somebody's gone? Like you was talking about that song you got with Bankroll, right? Like to to go in and now listen to the stuff that they done. How does that affect you? Like to hear their music and their voices. Guess what? Though? I ain't gonna even cap it. Yeah. Like. I don't play fresh music. You won't even I'm listen to I'm, it. I'm, 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 I don't play it when I'm with people. Okay. I gotta be by my, I gotta be by myself to, to play it. That's what I'm. I, that's the part it, right there. I ain't gonna lie. I get emotional. I, it's I certain. Did. It's certain songs that send me to certain people like that Drake. When you hear me playing Drake and Future Use of This, I'm thinking about my buddy Lil Money. Wow. That song came out when the day he died, and it's like when you hear me playing that. Wiz Khalifa, 
I'm thinking about my auntie Ann Fresh. Like, me, I did music, and I also, Wallow used to be with me every day in the studio, man. Wallow used to be in the studio every day. So when I lost Wallow, it was like, why me? Yeah, yeah. Music you know, is your you roller coaster know, ride. You know, like, you know, like, you get that type of talk from family, oh, he dead because of you. Mm. That hurted me more. Mm -hmm. But knowing, like, I didn't kill nobody. I wasn't the one that pulled no trigger. Yeah. These guys are mad at words. Yeah. Like, people like to throw stuff out that they can't dish in. And then when you said, you know, like, I don't gang bang, so... I ain't in no gang, I ain't in that. So, I, you know, certain folks do things for clout. Some folks do things for rank. I don't understand them. Like, me, I grew up on an old fist fight. Yeah, yeah. I, I carry a gun because I got to protect myself. I know these, these guys can't get knocked out in front of these girls and still be the same guy. Yeah, yeah. I can wear a head whip and then go back outside with a black eye because I'm going to laugh it off. Yeah. I'm going to play. I'm gonna I, I know how to laugh it off. Most folks can't do that. They don't, they don't, they can't take it, they can't take an ad with no more. Yeah, I was reading, did you, did you get shot or? No, nah, never. Never? Never. Yeah, so people be That's putting kept. stuff out there. That's kept. So they, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't go by this internet because they'll tell you he, he ain't Lock here no more. And, and you know, before what's name died, uh, it was uh, Biz Marquis. He died before he died. Mm. Yeah. You go back like, and look, like you like see, you like, you, yeah, you see, you like, damn, he dead they already. Gonna all, they gonna always say something. So crazy. it's right. always the internet, that's why I asked that because I know when you see it, it'd be like, is this really real? I know we always do that we when always I see something say that. I'll be like, But one thing I want to tell did. you, hold on to those memories and be very transparent with your fans and stuff like that because your life is not your own. You're going through a certain time, but by you being transparent and telling people how you're overcoming it, how you're dealing with it, they're your support system, but you could help someone who is even being silent, who is not actually typing. I get those type something. of DMs. Yeah. yeah. I get those type of DMs like, People be like, how you post this and say that and do this and that? And I be like, I ain't afraid of what you going to I ain't afraid of what you going to write on my page. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. I ain't afraid because it's me. I don't care what you say about me. You'll catch me on my sh shirt off, dancing, playing. I like to have fun. <laughs> fun. I make myself happy like me. Like me lately, like the last three weeks. I've been sitting in my house all day. I ain't been driving nowhere, going nowhere, like, unless I go out at night or... I ain't been in the studio because my tape done, and I know when I put this tape out, I want that energy to be able to go do whatever. Mm -hmm. That's why when Shout, Shout called me like 2.30 in the morning, hey, okay. I need your interview, I'm like, you better call and remind me. <laughs> <laughs> you on that sir, you better call him. He called me at 2, and he like, man, you here early. I say, Shout, if I didn't come now, I promise I wasn't going to make it at 3.30. Wow. So I just we just sat outside and talked for an hour, yeah. 30 minutes or whatever, and came in here for 15, 20 yeah, minutes. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I wasn't gonna make it. I know it. I'm I, just I glad get side, you did. I get sidetracked so fast, like it just mean. But I be trying to make everybody happy. That's good that you know you, because that's a lot of people's failure. They always make excuses and don't really know who they are. That's my win. I accept my losses. I, that's I, good. I, I, wow. I take, I make take, you strong. I, I take yeah. matters into my own. I, I I know how to accept what I did, my leadership role, or anything in life, or, and, and accept my chances of failure. Uh, Success. I'm gonna I'm I'm hold myself accountable on a lot of things. Like, if I go somewhere and something happen, but I be don't told myself it happen, then you know what I get back in the car and say, I just said this was gonna happen. Well, I be seeing things for it happen, and, and I know how to do it. I might be, we might be at a park, bunch of girls out. Yeah, we like to be around it. Then I might just see something going different. I might tell my friend, let's go. Like, bro, it's a bunch of bitches. Like, listen, let you're an observative person. Definitely, yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely, definitely. Yeah. That's what keep me safe. But what yeah. do? You, I, how but do hold you? on. I, um, but being knowing your shortcomings, are you trying to improve on those? Always. You always want to be a better you. Definitely. Because some people just accept it as like, that's just how I am. You are gonna have to accept nah. me for who I am. That nah, type of person. You gotta always try to be better, right? Nah. You strive to be a better man, like. No, nah, that's why them folks be in jail with no way out. <laughs> that's Set me true. for who I am. <laughs> so let me ask you, yeah. man. So, so how can people get a hold of you if somebody trying to fan out? You yeah, know, look like, in the camera and tell them how man. to reach you. How do they, how do they reach you? Um, quick trip on Instagram. Already. You know, quick trip on Instagram. Quick trip on Twitter. Facebook. Are you on TikTok? Do you really be on Twitter? I ain't, I ain't, no, I ain't been on Twitter in a minute, but I, I check I ain't it. either, and I got a lot of people I on check, there. I check my Twitter. I ain't the... 
You don't I be on Twitter. Twitter is like texting to me. Yeah, yeah. I can't do it. I cannot <laughs> like, do it. I haven't at all. You know, Twitter. you know, you you know, just say, you know, text messages get thrown out of proportion. Yeah, they do. That's why a lot of folks be in trouble from their tweets. Yeah. I always believe in verbally speaking, because I know how to improve and say it better. I know how to translate it better with talking than my text. So you like to go live on Instagram? Yeah, then my phone, I don't know why they call my phone on smartphone. My phone, dumb. <laughs> Soon I mess up a, a spelling. I got a friend named Bushy. She always text me, say, you just don't care about spelling, do it. I'm like, man, you know what I'm trying to say. She's like, yeah, but I'm the same you way. need to fix yeah, that. you do. I be you fix that all well, the time. I, I still be big on when I get my music mixed and I be on messed up a word. And my engineer be like, go and say this word. I'm like, leave it like this. like, why? I'm like, they need to know it's failure in the music, too. Oh, really? I like really? that. I like I that. Kept, I, it's Being failure. real. It's failure There's no too. such thing as perfection. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, it's failure in that. Like, I want you to get the real me. I don't like to be animated. Yeah. When you animated too much, you can't deal with certain things. So then I don't be really worried about that. I'm going to be, I'm going to give you me. Already say, man, thank you, man. I, I love, hey, man, we love hard, bro. You family now, you can't Definitely. get away from us, bro. I, and when you in Texas, like, you better I, come see me. But, he just but, told me but that I got it. to. But even if, even so, we got people asking us to come back out here, like quarterly or whatever. And I'm gonna be like, I'm like, hit you up, like, hey, man. How long you in town? Man, we leaving, we leaving tomorrow. tomorrow. Right? <laughs> I wish I could stay, man. I told her, I said we might stay if if, if something big enough if come something through. Something big enough come she through. She's saying we'll stay. We who, gonna stay. Who 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 would be a nice person to get y'all to stay? Who y'all trying to get in touch with? It's up to her. I, I don't know. I say Gucci. I can't get that call. <laughs> I uh, say, no, who else? Jeezy. But well, Jeezy ain't here. Till. I can call Till. Okay. But look, that's a, guess what? That's a mentor to me. Really? That's you a, call him and we can, we, we'll stay and tomorrow. And we know him. That's um, crazy. If he, if he in town, I can call him. Because he was going like, I'm going to tell you something. Like, who do you think would be a good interview? I'm going to tell you something. T, yeah. T, no, I, I, I like T.I., I little T.I. T.I. is one of them ones, like, he gonna tell you the truth, like, that's my, that's one of them real mentors. I can say, if I call Tip and he missed a call, he gonna call back. He I like one people. Them, uh, uh, if he got his phone in his hand, he gonna pick up right then. Mm -hmm. Hey, quit you what you need. You need me for something? Uh, uh, well, yeah, uh, I need to holler at you about something, Tip. I'll be at the studio at this time. Come on, who you with? He ain't, or oh, come by yourself type. He like, who you with? Oh wow. uh, yeah, don't don't bring a thousand folks. You know, ooh, I got my kids here. If he got his kids, they gonna tell you if he if he by himself. Tip really gonna be can you come with two thousand people along with their respect. Mm. Oh, really? Along with their respect, he was recording. We've been, a, we've been in a He's few rooms together. He's always been a respectable person because nah, I've met him so one many real times. He helped me get through a lot of a lot mm -hmm. of that a lot of that tough times. Like I called and talked to him. You know, he lost for lunch. He lost a couple people yeah. on the road, and I know yeah. he probably got blamed for a couple yeah. things. And I always just ask him how he get through it, and he always gave me real answers. That's, that, that's, that's, who, you that's, think, that's, who you think would be a good person for us, like a big person? You know who I, show. you know who I deal with. I in, no, I think Rich Homie. Like he got he having a, he, he having a comeback. He having a comeback, and that's somebody who really support me. Like that's my dog. Corn, you can call him. I'm, I'm here. If you can get him today, we'll do it tonight. Corn, mm -hmm. We'll work late. Corn we'll go to say, twelve one o'clock. Corn probably, <laughs> not, corn probably tell y'all to come to his house though. He, he, wow, that's, that's a house person. I better put this thing. We'll together. pack it up and take it over there. <laughs> I call him after the interview. Say, later. man, check it, man. We are gonna shut him down, right? Yes, sir. Man, it's been another great segment. Hey, man, thank you. For sure. We thank love you, bro. Y'all got folks on him. Look, I'm gonna tell y'all one. How much for an interview? I told you. I ain't did no interview in so long. Wow. They asked him, how much for an interview? Man. Check it, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. And we out.